what I love to do now is make new eyeshadows. I think now is a point in time to use what you have, but like beyond shop my stash and like panning things like as they are. Because you, know, you can if you really don't like it, you can run into hate panning. Or you just you know, sometimes you realize it's not as great, you're not really that excited to use it anymore, so then then it becomes harder to pan. Um so came up with an idea um mixing your own colors. So here it is in the middle. These two I use to mix this color. You can see it is now a teal. Oh there we go. Now you can see. This is um so because I it looks like I use it a lot, but then it's from mixing and from using it on face charts and or just using it to color and stuff like that. But this is the one that I had trouble with the most. I also nicked it once, so that had happened. That was unfortunate. Um, it was unfortunate, but I was kind of happy. I mean, I have less product to have, less it helped with panning. Because last year, it just wasn't it. It, just, um, it was near the end of the year or halfway the year, and I wasn't having that much progress on it. Um, that's okay. Use up it fast. Use it fast. Oh yeah, that was the point. Because once I mixed it, Jesus Christ, that's weird. Um, once I mixed it, to my new shadow, I was able to use it way more. Um, it went by. I was able to. When I did the fourteen uses for Valentine's Day, it went by so fast. I'm hoping these new shadows will go by faster too. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to overthink it now and like think of like what color goes good with this. I'm just gonna be like you know, I want to see how this looks up with this shadow. If it works well, then good. If it doesn't, then that day is okay. I have a lot to go through. Ah, that's another thing. So mixing in mixing. <clears throat> in a pan and I have hundreds of them empty pans that I planned on doing and I thought I was allergic to eyeshadow but it's just mascara um so no worries if I mess up uh I was gonna do like two chromes and like a red base with a gold shimmer yes so yeah. so I just realized do chromes is mean just means that the base is stronger than the shimmer and do that so I know people use it was it in the Michelle Fawn video where she used it for watercolor so I kind of I really I really wanted to buy watercolor shimmer watercolors metallic watercolors and stuff like that but like I don't know how to watercolor quite honestly and I had the materials but I haven't learned it yet so I'm like why buy more materials you know what I mean oh yeah the point was to put see how much different kinds of looks I can make with the same products as I'm talking about making whole different products but you know in the end it's the same just mix together so I, I could mix them together in my brush but you know I just don't want to do that every time I think of something but yeah so I want to see how much I can do with that yeah I know just like honor yourself you deserve nice things you deserve not to struggle with everything you know what I mean I guess it's the most point of me doing all this stuff um, making all these things like i don't have to struggle to get to the end idea you know what i mean you can have fun along the way as you can see it's all about the process you remember the process of if you had fun or not not really that much exactly what how it ended you know what i mean well maybe sometimes but the process is longer than the end result so might as well make that fun so um, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a nice day. Yeah, I'm losing light, so I should get uh, So I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna stop before I mess with my hair again. So, see you guys later. Again.